There was a time when meadow, grove, and stream, the earth and every common sight, to me did seem appareled in celestial light, the glory and the freshness of a dream. It is not now as it hath been of yore, turn wheresoe'er I may, by night or day, the things which I have seen I now can see no more. The rainbow comes and goes, and lovely is the rose. The moon doth with delight look round her when the heavens are bare. Waters on a starry night are beautiful and fair. The sunshine is a glorious birth. But yet I know where'er I go, that there hath passed away the glory from the earth. Now, while the birds thus sing a joyous song, and while the young lambs bound as to the tabor's sound, to me alone there came a thought of grief. A timely utterance gave that thought relief, and I again am strong. The cataracts blow their trumpets when steep. No more shall grief of mine the season wrong. I hear the echoes through the mountains throng. The winds come to me from the fields of sleep, and all the earth is gay. Land and sea give themselves up to jollity, and with the heart of May doth every beast keep holiday. Thou child of joy, shout round me. Let me hear thy shouts, thou happy shepherd boy. Ye blessed creatures, I have heard the call ye to each other make. I see the heavens laugh with you in your jubilee. My heart is at your festival. My head hath its coronal. The fullness of your bliss I feel. I feel it all. Oh, evil day, if I were sullen, while earth herself is adorning, this sweet May morning, when the children are calling on every side, in a thousand valleys far and wide, fresh flowers, while the sun shines warm, and the babe leaps up on his mother's arms, I hear, I hear, with joy I hear, but there's a tree of many, one, a single field, which I have looked upon, both of them speak of something that is gone, the pansy at my feet doth the same tale repeat, whither is fled, the visionary gleam, where is it now, the glory and the joy? Our birth is but a sleep and a forgetting, the soul that rises with us, our life's star, hath had elsewhere its setting, and cometh from afar, not in entire forgetfulness, and not in utter ignorance, but trailing clouds of glory do we come from God, who is our home, heaven lies about us in our infancy, Shades of the prison house begin to close upon the growing boy, but he beholds the light whence it flows. He sees it in his joy. The youth, who daily farther from the east must travel, still is nature's priest, and by the vision splendid is on his way attended. At length the man perceives it die away and fade into the light of common day. Earth fills her lap with pleasures of her own, yearnings she hath in her own natural kind, and even with something of a mother's mind, and no unworthy aim, the homely nurse doth all she can to make her foster child, her inmate man, forget the glories he hath known, in that imperial palace whence he came. Behold the child among his newborn blisses, a six years darling of a pygmy size, See where mid work of his own hand he lies fretted by sallies of his mother's kisses, with light upon him from his father's eyes. See at his feet some little plan or chart, some fragment from his dream of human life, shaped by himself with newly learned art. A wedding or a festival, a mourning or a funeral, and this hath now his heart. Unto this he frames his song. Then will he put his tune to dialogues of business, love, or strife. But it will not be long ere this be thrown aside and with no joy and pride. The little actor comes into the part, filling from time to time his humorous stage with all the persons down to palsied age that life brings with her in her equipage as if his whole vocation were in this Best philosopher, who yet dost keep thy heritage, thou I among the blind, that deaf and silent readest the eternal deep, haunted forever by the eternal mind, mighty prophet, seer blessed, on whom those truths do rest which we are toiling all our lives to find, in 
darkness lost, the darkness of the grave. today feel the gladness of the May. What, though the radiance which was once so bright be now forever taken from my sight, though nothing can bring back the hour of splendor in the grass, of glory in the flower, we will grieve, not rather find strength in what remains behind, in the primal sympathy, which having been, must ever be, in the soothing thoughts that spring out of human suffering. In the faith that looks through death, in ears that bring the philosophic mind. And oh, ye fountains, meadows, hills, and groves, forebode not any severing of our loves. Yet in my heart of hearts I feel your might. I only have relinquished one delight to live beneath your more habitual sway. I love the brooks, which down their channels fret even more than when I tripped lightly as they. The innocent brightness of a newborn day is lovely yet. The clouds that gather round the setting sun do take a sober coloring from an eye that hath kept watch o'er man's mortality. Another race hath been, and other poems are one. Thanks to the human heart by which we live, thanks to its tenderness, its joys and fears, to me the meanest flower that blows can give thoughts that do often lie too deep for tears. 